Yo, what's going on guys? And I'm back. Merry Christmas. I missed it. I was in London. Well, no. I came back, but then I was very, very sick because I caught something there. Um, here is one of my Christmas presents. Nice Jack Farmer's merch, which you guys can't get yet. It's a scammy that goes to my YouTube channel. But yeah, you guys can't get it yet. It's just for me for the moment. As soon as it releases, then I'll tell you guys. So, I came back to my English teacher giving me a homework. I have to get one of my favorite stories and make a product from it. So, hello English teacher, really hope you're watching this. Yeah, um, I chose Macbeth because I think the English teacher will like it. I'm gonna choose the dagger. So, I've read the book to find the description of it. And the only thing given was, blood began to ooze from the blade as though iron were weeping red tears. So I've just got to make a dagger and just put some red on the blade. Yeah, so let's cut straight to B&Q so I can get the materials. So, B&Q is closed because it's boxing down. Two of the for me. So, I've decided it's better just to 3D print it. So, there's the model, 3D printing. And you've got it like that. Yeah, it's gonna take three hours, so I'll cut back my prints. Okay, so just finish the thing, and oh, that looks great. Uh, I really like the blade shape, a nice curve down. I think if we give it a nice big, yep. Yeah. Um, let's quickly take off all the supports and I'll sand it. end is very flexy so i'm not sure what we can do about that but gotta strengthen that up do need to sort out that end because that's incredibly movie but yeah okay so now i've sanded one side uh, and I've got off all of the big bits, so now let's keep going. Let's clean my desk before I use it. Let's go to the sponsor of today's video, Sharpie. Well, nah, I just bought these. Um, but I really like Sharpie, they're my favorite brand, so I bought these to go on my desk. The next day got this still i'm just gonna finish sawing this and then i'm gonna carve the indent into it so i can put the blade through it um yeah i've changed the scenery i'm now at my nan's house so let's keep going this i'm inside because it's just side raining but i've got the two halves i'm so sorry about the background noise i've got the two halves cut out and i'm just gonna chop out a little slip for the blade see you then all right so i've just finished carving this and here's what it Looks like so it's nice and carved out. 
and I've just got some clamps on it to make sure it fits nicely. But yeah, so I've got so far. And here's what I've done for the cross guard, which I'll chop out. Okay, it's the next day again. And today's upload day, and I'm still making. So here's what we've got so far. We've got that, which is the knife open guy. And now we've got this, which I've carved out to be a nice cross guard. I just have to carve out that bit and chop it off the base. So this is kind of funny. It broke. The stupid thing broke, right? So I've got this piece, which I haven't actually carved out yet. And then I've got this piece, which broke. So hold on, I'm going to quick flip this. So I was carving with this, but that's broken off of there. So I've kind of ruined the whole project now. So, so I'm going to have to 3D print. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get this, go take the measurements from it and then make a cross guard for it. It'll take 54 minutes. So let's quickly print that. Okay, it's New Year's Eve and the print's just finished. So, so we take it off and let's put it onto the thing. Okay, so here they are together. And I've got the blade, which, let's hope this fits. Yes, it fits. And let's drop that down. That looks nice. So now this is glued together, but that's what it looks like so far, which is looking quite nice. Okay, we've got to do the first thing. Through here. Let me just grab this. So that's just drying. And then next we'll spray paint it, hopefully. Okay. Just complete this. It's looking quite nice. Let's get it out of the clamp and quickly sand it. So that's currently gluing with wet glue. Um, but yeah, it's looking quite nice. Okay, we've just finished gluing the knife with expanding glue and it's done. So let's quick take off the tape. Now that after with the tapes off, which is very peculiar process because of the glue and stuff it's still on the seams i need to sand this let's give it a once over and then i need to paint the blade red so <laughs> I think it's really nice. I could totally, like, shh, shh, kill the king with this. Yeah, I'm really happy with the blood effect. It looks really realistic. Um, the wood looks nice. I've sanded the bottom. It's a good size. Kind of small, but gripped around nicely. Here's the comment my English teacher said, which I'm really happy with. So this project's been a success. The top three comments in the last video are here. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.